it, is it essential you use an SDHI fungicide at T1? Well, it certainly it hasn't been here, Mike, at, at this site, but um, we've had very good responses year on year, dry and wet seasons, from, from high dose triazol with, with chlorothamnil um, here, plus or minus strobe on varieties where we've had rust present at the same time. And that has always served us well um, at this, th this particular site, never had a problem. The 2SDHI approach has very rarely, if ever, given the yield response above that uh, T1 that I sort of just mentioned. Uh, it's been been fine. Do you think timing is more crucial if yeah, you use it? Proline CTL. Yeah, it is absolutely. I mean, these are trials. Don't forget here that we're, we're in this particular field, and and we're always there or thereabouts with our timing. We don't have 3,000 acres to spray with a machine that can't travel as regularly as a chap you know, coming across the plots. And if you're in that situation, or you've got varieties, solstices, gallants, Santiago's, Kielders, perhaps of this world, if you're still growing those sort of varieties and you've got big acreages of them, then you might be in a problem, uh, particularly if they're September drilled. You know, you're gonna have timing problems, even if even if you've got a big, big bit of kit, it's still gonna take a few days and that could make all the difference. And in those situations, possibly as you move from that ideal timing onwards, you might see a benefit from the SDHI. In fact, you may well see a benefit from the SDHI approach at T1 as well as T2. From Bayer.